So we got some other news. We're checking out things that are going on in the world today. We are here at um, a video by the Victory Channel, and they are discussing the White House being under pressure. Let's see if they talk about it. In fact, uh, let me show you what Adam Shifty Schiff had to say. Watch. The, the White House knew about this on November 2nd. So we didn't learn about it. The public wasn't informed <clears throat> until this week. And it was only after uh, the story was, uh, you know, was out there. Reporters were asking questions. Should they have been more forthcoming? Should this information have been revealed earlier? Uh, I think the administration will need to answer that question. Uh, I'm going to reserve judgment until they do. But I think it's important to point out uh, that the Biden uh, approach was very different in the sense that um, it looks, uh, as far as we can tell, that it was inadvertent that these documents were in these locations. Lance, mm. did you see that? Hold on, I got to show this, man. See, they passed over that right there. I want you all to see how Joe Biden walks out to that podium. It's like he 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 has his hand out like a you know like when a baby is first starting to walk and they are um and they are walking towards their their mom or their dad or their sister or their cousins that's really come on come on and like and like come on you almost made it come on 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 that's how Biden looks when he walks towards this podium right here because he's looking at it and he's like, whoa, 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 I got to make sure I make it to, if I, ah, <sighs> whew, almost missed this bad boy. Now it can hold me up while I'm talking. It's like, and I get it, he's old. And I can only hope and pray to make it to his age. I can only hope and make, I hope and pray to make it to the age. But this brother, man, he's he's ready to retire. Or he's ready to leave. He don't want to run again. He already know that he's not going to win. He's like, look, I don't even want to win. I'm not. I shouldn't have won last time. But y'all gave it to me. Thank you for the job. Whatever. I'll say whatever y'all want me to say and do whatever you want me to do. But let me go ahead and get up out of here because clearly this job is not for me. I want y'all to see him walk into this podium, man. It's it's hilarious to me. I don't know why, but. I caught that and they weren't even talking about it. Look at this right here. Sense that um, it looks, uh, as far as we can tell, that it was inadvertent that these documents were in these. Did you see that? It's like he almost fell to the podium. It's like, it's like, uh, I'm here. I've landed. Locations. Lance, mm. listen to Adam Shift. He's now reserving judgment. How conservative of him. Uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Lance? It's probable, Gene, that if we just took a breath and looked at this, we're going to find out that uh, Delaware is actually advancing. There's a case on Hunter Biden. I think they're already uh, going through an official subpoena of information and documents to remember something. They know now with the midterms that the Republicans are going to go for a, a, a committee and evaluate the Hunter Biden laptop. So they've got the laptop. They're looking at what documents are on the laptop that could incriminate Joe Biden. It's just a theory I got. They now say, oh, my gosh, where are the documents? His $2,500 an hour lawyers are going through his garage in Delaware. 200 what? What? Not your daggone mind, man. Katarina, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm down. That's what I'm talking about. Bless you and your family. My God. Next to his Corvette, rummaging through boxes. Why? Because they're trying to get all the email and paper trail connected to, to his son, Hunter. They're trying to pull it out of all these locations. Now, every document that comes out is, uh, is, is we're going to have to look at what it is. This is more of a big deal than people realize. Because as you're, you'll probably cover tonight, we're now discovering how the money was going from the Chinese government to Biden and to the son. The location in, at the University of Pennsylvania, where one of the files was found, where they're getting documents out of it, uh, was paid basically uh, by a donation from $57 million from the Chinese Communist Party to the campus 
at least that camp has received the funds from communist China and then put up a Biden center over there where he only went six times and got paid like $700,000. So the, the machinery is starting to unravel because we're seeing the financial trail connected to these locations. That's what makes this so interesting. It does make it interesting. And, uh, you know, you just the facts. Who would have ever thought, Jesse, that this is <laughs> the facts are stranger than fiction after after yeah. what he said about how, you know, this is hard to believe and this is irresponsible. Yet he's got this and more in his own. Do you think he knew what was going on? Uh, I think Biden knows a lot more than people are saying. I, I don't mean this to sound rude, but I really believe President Biden and his administration have be, they are weaponized stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't mean to sound rude when you said that, brother. <laughs> what exactly? What was the feeling you were going for? What were you? What were you going for when you said that? Then he did not want to sound. They are weaponized. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. They say one thing, do another, but their words come back and bite them. I believe they knew it all because, I, I, you know, if you really think about how the Democrats work, it's pretty easy. You know, if you think about it, they're trying to go through the documents, get them just like Hillary, trying to burn up all the 33,000 emails. And all. They, they do the same thing. They just put a different paper bag on it. But that's to me. And I heard someone say it, and I like to say it, that's weaponized stupidity. When he did the 60 uh, minute thing talking about this and now it's come back to bite him. And the thing I can't get over, they put it in a locked garage with a Corvette. But I thought he was believing in climate control. Man, Corvettes burn a lot of fossil fuels and, and a lot of it. It's just amazing to me that everything they're trying to do is turning against them. And I believe that's the Lord opened that up and starting to come back and say, wait a minute. You said this, you said that. Now the media has to. They have to ask these questions. And I'm telling you what, I would, I think when they, when they appointed that special prosecutor to look at this, they ought to, that special prosecutor ought to look at, at, at that attorney general also and the Department of Justice. So he's got power and um, the people say you shouldn't do that. No, you do. We want a government we can trust and we all know we can't trust the government we have right now. Whoever this Jesse Duplantis um, guy is, uh, he's the author of I Never Learned to Doubt. Um, I need to look into him, but... From this bit of this little bit of um talk that he did, I like him. This dude is sharp. Well, yes, we do know that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we and we learn we know more every day. It seems like. Let, let me show you what um, Democrat Representative Jamie Raskin had to say from that bastion of accurate media telling CNN. Watch. The first batch of documents uh, was found on November 2nd, a week before the midterms, but the public didn't learn about it until it was reported in the press just this past week. And even then, the White House did acknowledge that a second batch of documents had been found in December until that, too, leaked. Uh, I mean, Chairman Comer has a point when he says we learned about this because CBS News reported on it and then everybody else followed and got that information. Uh, now we've learned they found more documents than previously disclosed in a third location. Uh, it's hard to argue that the administration's been transparent and told the American people about this as soon as they could have. Well, of course, I mean, it was a very rapid clip at which we learned about it compared to the Trump case where he fought it for nearly a year or perhaps over a year. And, it, and uh, the government investigators had to go to court in order to get a subpoena to go to Mar-a-Lago to get uh, dozens of boxes of classified material and government documents that were being held down there. So, look, I don't know yet, and I'm hoping our investigations will reveal what you're supposed to do if one of these documents uh, surfaces. Well, we know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to talk about it and let the American people know what's going on. You know, Pastor Hank, we see this. Um, you know, it, it's, it seems very irresponsible. Uh, for them. And it seems like the Democrats are on the ropes. Now, let me throw something your way first and let you comment on that. It almost seems like the Democrats may be setting up Joe Biden to get rid of him. You think that could possibly be the case? That's exactly what's happening. That is exactly what's happening. They don't want to make him look completely idiotic, though. But um, well, they don't want the entire party to look more idiotic than it's been looking. But 
they do want to put it in a position like, okay, as you know, you know, he's getting, he's gotten older. He's he can't run this race anymore. But he did some amazing things. He did this and he did that. You know, they're going to drum up a whole bunch of BS to try to get um, to rally up the troops. But you know what? Kudos to them. Kudos to them for that because the conservatives need to do a better job at getting the getting the younger people on their side. I believe these Christian rappers are helping out a lot. Conservative rappers and and entertainers are helping out a lot, but it has to do it has to be more closely to the 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 people who make the laws and whatnot. Right? Because entertainment and whatnot can only go but so far. You actually need somebody who is like that's something that Trump did. Trump had a he had a a way about him that connected to younger older like he's he's just had that thing about him he had that thing about him and um they need to do that whatever that is they need to do it for real until then the young stupid uh, adults who are voting now and believing everything that they're told and they have extreme white guilt right now <laughs> they are gone if y'all y'all need to get to those young people who got extreme white guilt because they are they are voting for any damn thing right now. They don't have any morals. It don't seem like. Mm -hmm. I think what's happening also are is things that God prophesied playing out. And I do think that it is uh, a setup also that they are wanting to get rid of uh, this whole thing with with this fake administration that's going on. I think they don't have any real answers. Uh, they know that it's falling apart. But here's what God said. And this is what I want the people to to be reminded of. For months that we've been coming on Flashpoint, God said you would see a great unraveling. You would see great exposures. You would see the Lord begin to Take the covers and pull them off and open the curtains for all to see what is really going on. And this is what's happening right now. And then the Lord said that he would be a positive irritant in their hinder parts. And he took that reference out of the Bible where the... He would be, a, he would be an irritant in their hind parts. Wow. That just means the Lord is going to whoop your tail. I was about to say the A word, but then I realized I said the Lord and I don't want to use the A word in the same sentence as the Lord, although he has said, if, if you have sinned in your heart, then you have sinned. <laughs> so I might as well have said it, but I think it's better that I not show a little bit of this. You know what I mean? Relax a little bit. Just, just try, just try. Sometimes you can see, that's the thing. You can cuss and you can say whatever you want. That's the whole, you can talk bad about the government you can get online and just say whatever the hell and still be able to have the freedoms that a lot of these other countries don't have when they speak up against their government. So they say something foolish online. These people are getting taken up out of here. Not only are they being killed, but their entire families are being taken up out of here. But we have them liberties. And because we have these liberties, we have raised up so many spoiled people who who are just entitled as hell extremely inconsiderate and don't care about their neighbor. The Philistines touched something uh, of the Ark of the Covenant that God deemed sacred, and as a result, they got uh, hemorrhoids, and they went ahead and put uh, a golden emerald up to worship it. So God is saying, look, I'm going to be the positive ear intent. I'm going to begin to show the world what uh, I've known, what I've seen, and I'm going to show the earth truth. And so what I feel we're going to see is not only more and more things to try to, you know, uh, set up this uh, fake presidency, but I also think we're going to see more and more vindication of President Trump and uh, that God is in fact standing uh, with him. And for those of us who stood for the things that are important to God and that President Trump stood for. So hold on for a good ride because things are going to swiftly change and we're going to see some amazing, amazing things be revealed. And uh, when it happens, some people are going to go, man, I can't believe this is what was really going on. You would like to believe that, but I don't think so. I mean, I know the pastor said his he did his thing. I love the way that he he gave a word and and he tied everything together. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think people have accepted that this is a, a fouled up world we're in and they have picked a side of um, that's not connected to God at all. They can care less of like the relationships with God is people are picking everything else but but God today. And because of that, it's very difficult to 
reason with certain people and no matter what's revealed is it's only going to make them do what they do more of they're going to be the darkness in the light and that's why it's important that anybody that's watching my videos hopefully i'm not saying that you should be a jesus freak if that's the thing or you should even i'm not even saying you should even worship god i do what you feel is best for you as for me and my house we will worship the lord that's us right and i can tell you a lot of great things have come from it god is good to us um and god is good to you too but i'm not going to force anybody to acknowledge that but um there are a bunch of people out here who have chosen uh, the side of evil because it's beneficial to them no matter what good is put out there no matter what falsehoods are uncovered they are still going to ride with who they ride with because especially in today's um with, with the internet being highly um prevalent everybody wants to look good in the eyes of their their groups even if it means like not standing for what's right they don't care we're not standing for what's right because we have too many friends who are on that side right there who who your side oppose not even caring about what's right or what's best for the country or best for them as as individuals but you know they've already picked them picked their sides man they've already picked their sides and it's unfortunate i'll see y'all next time hopefully you got something out of it too make sure you hit that like button run this bad boy up thank y'all man love y'all see you next time peace out